Hey, I hope you're well. It's the 2nd of December. It's a Saturday and it's exactly four o'clock in the afternoon. I have spent today basically the whole day hanging out with my friends Nikki and Maddie. They came over to see our new place and well, when I say it is our new place but Steve wasn't here, it was just me um, and had brunch with them. We made Avo smash avocado on toast so good um and before that they came at about 10 30 so before that i went to the gym just did the stairmaster again i'm gonna get back into doing kayla's bikini body guide next week but this week has been a little disrupted with doing the landmark forum so that's kind of my go-to workout when i want to do something that's challenging but i don't want to have to think about it so did that for half an hour and then I came home and did my meal prep um, before, like while I was waiting for them to get here. So I made this Moroccan inspired chicken and rice dish from fitmencook.com, which is always my go-to now for recipes, not affiliated, sponsored, anything like that. Just like I really enjoy using all of his recipes because they match the kind of healthy eating that I like. Um, and even though it's for men, obviously fit men cook. Um, I don't know. I just, I really like it. So I made that and I made a big salad just with some brown penne pasta, spinach, lentils that were from a can and some feta and I bought all these sweet potatoes to put in sweet potato and I just completely forgot about it. So I think I'm going to cook that a bit later when I'm having a break and just going to cut some up and watch Kardashians and yeah so that's basically all I have done so far today and since it's four o'clock Steve won't get home until probably 7 30 at the very earliest um he finishes work at seven but I feel as though so basically usually once he's home I like to be free if we want to hang out and catch up so I still have three and a half hours at least um, until he gets home often he'll go for a run or whatever after he gets home if he hasn't been to the gym that we went yesterday so I don't know anyway what I'm trying to say is that often I can get to this this time of the day where I haven't been productive and feel like oh the day's already gone and just fluff around and three and a half hours is actually quite a decent amount of time especially if you're really focused so I am going to write the blog post for tomorrow and the email my goal is to have them both completed start to finish before Steve gets home I've already got my content calendar which I've started using I did a a vlog about that a couple of weeks ago or last week actually so I'm going to just write what I had already prepared I mean what I've already planned to write about um, but I really want to get that done just be super focused and not beat myself up if it doesn't get done but really be like working with urgency and not procrastinating <laughs> so um, yeah, I'm going to be doing that for the rest of the afternoon. I've just put the kettle on to have an Earl Grey tea because I just realized I haven't had any tea yet today and I love just sitting with a cup of tea. So that's basically all I'm doing. I don't know if I mentioned this yesterday. I'm so sorry. I can never remember what I tell you guys. But um, yesterday I... No, what am I saying? So I'm basically playing around with what day of the week to have off. So if you've been watching for a while, you might know that Friday is the day that I have off blogging. So I work part time Monday to Friday in the afternoons, um, a longer shift on Monday. So I start about midday on Monday, but otherwise I work um, in the afternoon from 4 p.m. to 8 p.m. And um, what am I trying to say here? So... <laughs> Basically, I work then, but I do blogging every day of the week except Friday. And that's because I really find that... Um, I'm going to get this tea. 
that Steve's usually working on the weekends so it's kind of a day that we can do stuff together and I just need to schedule in downtime or it just doesn't happen because I really love doing all of this stuff so much that if I'm bored which never happens because I'm always doing this stuff um, but if I don't have something to do like I just want to do it so yeah so I had Fridays as my day just so I could like make sure I have some downtime but I've been thinking about whether that's actually like the best thing for me because then like today I've hung out with Nikki and Maddie most of the day and normally Saturday would be a working day so then it throws off that in a sense so yeah I was talking to Kit my coach about whether I should just have like have it be flexible and just make it whatever day works or just be more intentional with being focused and deliberate when I'm working and making sure I always plan before working instead of just hoping spontaneously that I'm going to choose the very best thing to do in the moment which very rarely happens you always just for me I always just choose what I feel like doing which is usually not the thing I need to do so um yeah I'm just kind of playing around with how to structure because I do want some routine and some yeah some downtime that I can just make sure I'm really recharging and yeah so I think a big part of that is changing the belief around like that to achieve more you have to work harder because I really don't think that's true um, and like only recently that you can actually be extremely productive in a short space of time like if like sure if you're extremely productive for a long period of time you'll produce more but I think often we tend to just think of it um, as like hours worked and especially if those hours are filled with procrastination it's much better to work two hours two super focused hours if you can do that then six hours where you're procrastinating and it's so draining doing that and just getting the same amount done but often we feel guilty for working shorter hours because long hours and being busy is glorified so yeah that's basically all I wanted to chat about today um, and I'll just show you my office did I show you yesterday this is currently I can't remember if I showed you this is what it looks like I have just been watching Kardashians while I did my makeup because even though I'm not really gonna see anyone maybe you can see in this slide I just have like 50 spots from mosquito bites from having heaps and heaps and heaps of mozzies in our new house so gonna have to figure out what to do about that but anyway I'm gonna leave it here because that's really all I have to say but I hope you are well and I will see you tomorrow bye